What's up mga kaininyero? On this video ay magpe-present ako ng two example in design problems. The two problem stated is when the section is in transition region and when under tension control. If you are on this video, I suggest na panuorin mo muna yung naunang video na in-upload ko using the link na nag-pop out sa upper right corner ng video na to. Dahil doon ko in-explain yung concept and NSCP 2010 slash 2015 codes na gagamitin natin para masolve yung problem natin ngayon. Given in the problem, a rectangular beam has B is equal to 300 mm and effective depth is equal to 490 mm. Concrete compressive strength F prime C is equal to 27.60 MPa and steel yield strength Fy is equal to 276 MPa. Calculate the required tension steel area if the beam has to carry factored moment of 140 kN. I-drawing natin yung section ng beam natin, having width of 300 mm and effective depth of 490 mm, given the values of the stresses of steel and concrete, for concrete, 27.60 MPa and yield strength of steel is 276 MPa with the ultimate moment capacity of 140 kN, ito yon yung factored moment na given sa problem at ang hinahanap natin is yung required steel area ng beam natin. First step, Solve for the value of rho max and mu max. Rho max given by the formula 3 over 7 multiplied by 0.85 beta 1 f prime c over f y. Para masolve natin yung value ng rho max, kailangan natin ng value ng beta 1. At yung value ng beta 1 natin ay nakadepende sa value ng f prime c. Since our f prime c is 27.60, dito siya magpo-pull sa region na to, between 17 to 28. Therefore, the value of our beta 1 is 0.85. By substituting the value of beta 1, f prime c, and f y in this equation, ma-obtain nating answer ng rho max is 0.03096. I suggest, when obtaining the value of rho, write our answer up to 5 decimal places. Kasi malaki yung epekto ng rho kapag ginamit natin siya. Dito, madami tayong iba't ibang klase ng moment na pag-uusapan. Kaya importante na lagyan natin ng subscript yung mga simbol ng moment na ginagamit natin para alam natin kung anong moment yung tinutukoy natin. Since we are talking of maximum moment, m yung maximum is equal to reduction factor m n max. In determining the value of m n max is magpapresent ako ng dalawang solution. Solution 1, using the direct formula na na-derive natin. Direct substitution lang to kasi wala naman tayong ibang unknown na values. 51 over 140. Ang beta 1 natin is 0.85. F prime C is 27.60. B is 300. Effective depth is 490 squared multiplied by 1 minus rho over 14. Beta 1 is 0.85. Then ang makukuha nating answer ng M and max is equal to 503.455 kNm. Take note na sa solution natin, ang ma-obtain natin na unit ng moment is in newton millimeter. Dahil yung stress natin ay naka mega pascal. And mega pascal is also equal to newton per millimeter squared. Then yung mga dimensions natin ay naka newton millimeter. Kaya kung nakuha to, is dinibide ko pa ng exponent 6 yung nakuha kong answer para maging kilonewton meter. Solution 2 using the conventional method. Para gawin yon kailangan natin muna i-drawing yung stress diagram ng ating section. At maximum condition, yung strain ng steel natin is equal to 0.004 or yung value ng FS natin is equal to 800 MPa. Using that concept, na-derive natin na yung value ng Cmax natin is equal to 3 over 7D. By taking the moment of 4C on the axis of T, makukuha natin M and Max is equal to C multiplied by D minus A over 2, yung moment arm, eto. Para masolve natin yung equation na to, kailangan natin ng value ng A. And A is equal to beta 1C. Beta 1 is equal to 0.85 and C is equal to 3 over 7D. D is equal to 490. Therefore, A is equal to 178.50 mm. I-substitute na natin yung mga values. C is equal to 0.85 F prime C A B. M and max is equal to 0.85 F prime C is 27.60. A is 178.50. B, 300. Multiplied by D, 490. Minus A, over 2. Therefore, M and max is is equal to 503.455 kN. Of course, dapat parehas lang sila ng answer. Kapag hindi sila parehas ng answer, expect mo na may mali sa solution mo. It's either mali yung isa or parehas silang mali. 
Let's do the stress check para malaman natin classification ng beam natin under MU max. Since FY is 276 megapascal and FS is equal to 800 megapascal, therefore, siya ay magpo-pull sa transition region. Kaya gagamitin natin na value ng reduction factor 0.65 plus 0.25 FS minus FY over 1000 minus FY. Substitute lang natin yung values, 0.65 plus 0.25, FS natin is 800, minus FY, 276, over 1,000, minus 276. Therefore, ang value ng reduction factor natin is 0.83094. Nire-write ko lang dito yung values na nakuha natin kanina. MU max is equal to reduction factor MN max. So, yung MU max natin is equal to 0.83094 multiplied by 503.455. Therefore, the value of our MU max is equal to 418.341 kN meter. Ito yung dalawang case na gagamitin natin. If the actual moment capacity of our beam is less than MU max, therefore, i-design natin yung beam natin as singly reinforced. But if MU is greater than MU max, i-design natin yung beam natin as doubly reinforced. Sa so, next topic pa natin to may encounter Kaya naman dito papasok yung solution natin. MU is less than MU max. 140, ito yung ating moment capacity, is less than 418. Therefore, i-design natin yung beam natin as singly reinforced. Step number 2, determine if the section is tension controlled or in transition region. Ang purpose lang natin dito is para malaman kung anong reduction factor yung gagamitin natin. Yun yung difference ng 2010 or 2015 sa 2001. Kasi sa 2001 code is constant lang na ginagamit natin as reduction factor is 0.9 per flexure. Ang first step na gagawin natin is to determine the moment capacity when the section is tension controlled. Magpe-present ako ulit ng dalawang solution. Solution 1 is using the direct formula na na-derive natin. MU subscript TC to designate that the moment is the moment when the section is tension controlled. The formula is 459 over 16 beta 1 F prime C B squared 1 minus 316 beta 1. Direct substitution lang siya kasi wala naman tayong ibang unknown values. 459 over 16 beta 1 is 0 0.85 F prime C 27.60 B is 300 Effective depth is 490 is squared Multiply by 1 minus 3 over 16 beta 1. Therefore, our moment at tension control is 407.508 kN. Solution number 2 is yung conventional method natin using the stress diagram. I-drawing lang natin ulit yung stress diagram natin. Na-explain naman na sa unang video na tension control, yung strain ng steel natin is 0.005. At na-derive din natin ang value ng C at this strain is equal to 3 over 8D. Solving lang natin yung value ng A equal siya sa beta 1C. Therefore, A is equal to 156.1875. I-moment lang natin ulit yung 4C dito sa axis ng T. At ang makukuha natin na solution is C multiplied by D minus A over 2. Kaya yung C yung ginagamit ko kasi kapag T, unknown value pa yung AS. I-substitute lang natin lahat ng values. C is equal to 0 0.85 F prime C A B. Then, the nominal moment at tension control is equal to 452.787. Huwag kayong malito sa solution natin kanina. Kasi yung formula na to natin ng moment is ultimate na agad. Ito, MN pa lang, nominal. Imumultiply pa natin siya sa reduction factor. MU at tension control is equal to reduction factor MNTC. At since nasa tension control tayo, yung value ng reduction factor natin is equal to 0.9. The value of our ultimate moment at tension control is equal to 0 0.90 multiplied by 452.787. And of course, dapat equal siya sa 407.508 kN meter. Ito ulit yung dalawang case natin. When the actual moment capacity is less than MUTC, therefore, our section is tension controlled. But when the actual moment capacity MU is greater than the value of MUTC, therefore, magpapol siya sa transition region. Since the actual moment capacity of our beam, 140 kN is less than siya sa moment capacity of our beam when tension control, 407.508, therefore, our section is tension control. At kapag tension control yung beam natin, ang value ng reduction factor natin is 0.9. And last, i-determine na natin ngayon yung required steel reinforcement AS natin. Sobrang laki ng hinaba ng solution natin compared to 2001 code. Kasi dito, hinahanap pa natin kung saan magpo-pull na classification yung beam natin para malaman kung anong reduction factor yung gagamitin natin. Unlike sa 2001 code, automatic reduction factor natin is 0.9.
The moment capacity of our beam is equal to reduction factor mn. mu is equal to 140 times 10 to the 6 para maging newton millimeter is equal to reduction factor 0.90. Ang mn natin is c multiplied by d minus a over 2. Madali yung equation na to once na meron tayong shift salt function. Next step, para makuha natin yung AS, kailangan natin ng value ng steel ratio or ng rho. Magpe-present ako ulit ng dalawang solution kung paano natin makukuha yung value ng rho. Solution 1, using the direct formula na na-derive natin. Take note that this formula is only applicable when the value per FS is equal to Fy or kapag nag-yield yung ating steel. MU is equal to 140 times 10 to the 6 is equal to reduction factor 0.9. Rho is unknown, Fy 276, B300, D is 490, squared, multiplied by 1, minus Rho unknown, Fy 276, over 1.70, F'C 27.60. Again, madali lang yung equation na to kung meron tayong shift solve function. Using shift solve, Rho is equal to 0 0.00822. Solution 2, using the stress diagram lang ulit. Summation forces horizontal is equal to 0, therefore C is equal to T. C is equal to 0 0.85, F prime C, AB is equal to ASFY. Para mapalabas natin yung rho sa equation, palitan natin yung AS ng kanyang formula na rho BD. Substitute lang natin lahat ng values, 0 0.85, F prime C 27.60, A is equal to 47.3991, eto yun, yung nasolve natin. B is 300, equals sa AS, Rho, B, D, 490, then FY, 276. Makukuha na natin yung value ng Rho, 0 0.00822. Hindi pa natin pwede gamitin yung value ng Rho, kasi nagbigay ng limit yung code. Kailangan pa natin i-check yung value ng Rho natin sa Rho minimum between square root ng F prime C over 4 FY and 1.40 FY. Based from the code, the value of the raw minimum is a greater value between these two. Therefore, raw minimum is equal to 0 0.00572. Dapat yung value ng raw na nakuha natin dito is hindi bababa sa raw minimum. Since the value of raw is greater than raw minimum, therefore, okay to use the value of raw na nakuha natin. At saka pa lang natin ngayon, masosol yung value ng AS is equal to raw BD. A22 times B300, then D is 490. For AS is equal to 1208. 0.34 mm squared. Next problem is same lang ng values na ginamit natin kanina. Ang pinalitan ko lang is yung value ng MU. Ginawa ko yun para yung problem natin is pumasok naman siya sa transition region. Step number 1, solve for the value of Rho max and MU max. Since hindi naman natin pinalitan yung mga value na F prime C and yung dimension, so same lang yung makukuha natin na Rho max and MU max dun sa nauna nating problem. Ito yung value ng raw max and MU max na na-obtain natin kanina. Ang purpose natin dito is if check yung moment capacity, if i-design natin siya as singly or doubly reinforced. Since yung moment capacity natin na 410 kN is less than pa rin siya sa MU max, i-design pa din natin siya as singly reinforced. Sa mga susunod na video, magkakaroon na tayo ng example kapag yung MU natin is greater than sa MU max. Yun na yung tinatawag natin na doubly reinforced. Step number 2, same lang na kanina, determine if the beam is tension controlled or transition region. Ito yung value ng moment na nakuha natin kanina when the section is tension controlled. Since the actual moment capacity of our beam is greater than the moment when the section at tension controlled, therefore, yung section natin is a transition region. Pag nag tayo sa transition region, isolve na natin yung actual value ng C natin. I-drawing lang natin ulit yung ating stress diagram para makuha natin yung value ng C. Since A is equal to beta 1C. MU is equal to reduction factor MN. And MU is equal to reduction factor C multiplied by D minus A over 2. Since nasa transition region yung section natin, eto na yung gagamitin natin na value ng reduction factor. Reduction factor is equal to 0 0.65 plus 0.25 multiplied by Fs minus Fy over 1,000 minus Fy. Kaso dito, kailangan pa natin ng value ng Fs. And Fs, given by the formula, 600 D minus C over C. And A is equal to beta 1C. Beta 1 is equal to 0.85 C. Substitute na natin yung value ng reduction factor, Fs and A, dito sa equation natin na to. 
Mag-start tayo sa moment capacity ng beam natin. 410 to the exponent 6, minsan ganito kasi ako magsulat ng times 10 to the 6, ina lang, is equal to reduction factor. Ang reduction factor natin is 0.65 plus 0.25 Fs minus Fy. Fs is equal to 600 multiplied by D minus C over C minus Fy, 276 over 1,000 minus 276. Multiplied by the value of C, 0.85, F prime C, A is beta 1C, times B. Multiplied by D, minus A, over 2. Dahil restricted yung space natin, ganito siya kapag sinulat ko siya ng dire-diretsyo. Madali lang yung equation na to, Basta meron tayong shift solve. So, ma-obtain natin ang value ng C is 189.5346 mm. And last step, isolve na natin yung value ng AS. Using this stress diagram, gamitin lang natin ulit yung equation ng equilibrium. So, mission na pole forces horizontal is equal to 0. C is equal to T. C is equal to 0.85. F prime C, 27.6. A is beta 1 C times B, 300, is equal to AS, FY. Yung beta 1 natin is equal to 0.85 times 189.5346. Then, ang makukuha natin value ng AS is 4108.16 mm2. Compute naman natin yung value ng rho ng section natin, AS over BD. AS is equal to 4108.16 over B, 300 times 490. Then, rho is equal to 0.02795. Pero dapat, hindi bababa yung rho natin sa rho minimum, which is nasub na natin yung value kanina, 0.00572. Since rho is greater than rho minimum, therefore, okay yung answer na nakuha natin. The next video to be uploaded is analysis problem na kung saan ang hahanapin naman natin is yung moment capacity ng ating beam. Kung gusto nyo ng e-file ng problem na prinisend ko sa video na to, downloaded na siya using the link on the description below. At wag nyo na din kalimutan na mag-subscribe on my YouTube channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Thank you and God bless.